Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Adam, and this is your market update. Folks, it is a brand new year, and we have an outlook for 2021. This week in the market update blog, we look at three factors that have, you know, good signs for the housing market in 2021. First of all, interest rates appear to remain in that low range. We've seen historic lows for over a year now, and there's no indication that federal policy is going to change that. So you never can predict market forces. You can't predict interest rates. But if you read the tea leaves, it doesn't look like there will be any policy changes that will drastically change a low interest rate environment. That's good news for buyers and folks who want to refinance. Number two, we think inventory problems are going to get improved. Investors are believing uh, that there's a chance that we could see more home builders coming into the market. And so the situation we found in 2020, where you've had multiple offers on every home and prices really rising rapidly, that will still be in place, but it, it, it may start to mitigate some in 2021. That's a good news if you're in the market to buy a home. And then finally, the unemployment rate, we're all really hopeful will begin to come down as 21 unfolds, mainly because of vaccinations. The COVID-19 pandemic has just wreaked havoc on the employment situation. And as businesses have had to close or reduce hours, as more and more vaccinations become available as the year unfolds, there is a strong belief in the market that unemployment will also begin to come down as businesses can reopen and return to normal operating procedures. And so all three of those factors together suggest another good year for the housing market up ahead. If you want to read more about that and other topics that moved the market this week, check out the Movement Market Update blog on movement.com slash blog. And if you're ready to talk about your situation, talk to a movement loan officer near you.